Hey everybody, Remy here. Uh, it's been a little while. I got delayed with uh, just a busy schedule for the second thing that home buyers should know but don't. Uh, this is really wrapped around home inspections, and I think people uh, don't educate themselves enough on home inspections and have either unrealistic expectations about the home inspection um, or with negotiations afterwards. Um, what people have to realize is it doesn't matter if your home was built yesterday and you're moving into it and you just got your occupancy permit um, or if it's if it was built in, uh, say, 1950, you're going to have problems. With a newer home, it may not be apparent problems right away, but um, the foundation may not have settled properly um, where you're going to see problems down the road. There could have been a problem with the installation of the roof that until the snow melts or it rains outside, depending on when you took possession, you may never know of it until... Uh, uh, a few years down the road or six months down the road when spring comes along. Um, I think people have unrealistic expectations from a home inspection in the sense that um, everything that they see, uh, they, the home may look like it's in great condition, but there's a lot of problems that you could be aware of even before you put in an offer, even before you go for a home inspection. You can find all this on the internet. There's a lot of information out there where you can look up 19 homes that built in the 1960s and you can actually prepare yourself on what kind of problems you may see. And every home is going to have uh, 20 problems, 40 problems, uh, and they're going to they're gonna vary in severity. The home inspector's job, uh, and they're equipped with high definition cameras, just like the the professional photo tours that you see. So when you're buying a home originally, you see the granite countertops, the nice windows, the beautifully staged bedroom. Then when you get your inspection report back, uh, you're going to see high definition picture shots of maybe uh, a crack in the foundation, um, you know, some condensation in the windows, uh, maybe even a, a bit of mold that's that's growing in the bathroom, and. And so people at the end of a home inspection may be scared away. Um, and then it's not until they get to their second purchase and they say, okay, let's leave this house. Let's go to another house. Same thing. And at, at the end of the day, it's you, when you're doing a, when you're conducting a home inspection, you really want to find a problem that's going to be big enough for you to walk away. That basically is not something that you even want to come close to dealing with. If there's a lot of little issues that can be remedied, um, you know, $100 here, $200 here, um, you know, it's not worth it to walk away. You initially, you love the house for certain reasons. There are lemons out there. There are houses that you definitely want to stay away with. And that is why you do a home inspection. You don't do a home inspection to uh, find a hundred little or, you know, 10 little, little bitty things to do in the house uh, maintenance wise for you to walk away or to get, uh, you know, $5,000 off the asking price. So it's just to keep in mind that a lot of the information is out there already. And before you even buy a house, House, you can save yourself a lot of times a lot of time because you can you maybe not want to shop for homes that are built in 1960 because you can actually find out the information of uh, the problems that are that are already there so you can save yourself some time in the shopping and a lot of uh, headaches before or during and after the home inspection so keep that in mind and until next time number three will come a lot quicker than uh, number two take care guys